Martha has a question about content strategy. Um, she says, my problem is I have, I have a lot of ideas. That's great. That's a, that's a great problem. Uh, I feel like I might not be putting out the right content to match an offer or launch. So glad you mentioned this because that is the common training marketing idea out there is that your content should match your launch. And I disagree with that because when you, when you try to match your content with your launches, except, okay, I, I allow you one piece of content that's matched to each launch. For example, yesterday, I wrote a blog post that is matched to my current launch, but that's only one piece, or you could technically say it's two pieces of content. It's a blog post plus a video related to the blog post. That's it. But did you see any of my other blog posts recently related to my current launch? None of them are. None of them are. Okay. Now, well, this is not really a blog post. This is an uh, updated one, but, but um, none, of, none of my recent blog posts are related to this current launch. I believe greatly, not just believe, I've seen it work really well to separate your content from your selling. I think the problem with most marketers is that there's so much agenda for every piece of every blog post, every video. There's always agenda. Ah, oh, just I'm pretending to be nice to you and trying to be generous to you with my with my heart and my ideas, but secretly I just want you to buy from me and, and hire me. It's like let's let's fucking stop that, everybody. Sorry for the for the language. And Martha, I'm not talking about you because I'm talking about everybody, myself included. Before I understood what authentic marketing was, I was doing the same thing everyone else was doing, you know? So um, if you want to read more about separating content from selling, do that. When we can give content from a place of generosity and, and genuine exploration of our ideas and genuine service, it feels so much better. Our audience feels it. We build a great relationship with people over time. And when we're ready to launch, we're just ready to launch. We're just going to tell people, just be honest. Uh, so I, I am authentic about two things, right? I'm authentic about my content. Number one, I'm not trying to sell you anything in most of my content. Number two, I'm authentic, I'm, I'm authentic about my launches. I'm not going to you know, beat around the bush when I'm trying to sell you something. I'm going to sell it to you. I'm going to be loud. Now, maybe I don't have to be loud, except now. I'm going to be proud to sell you because I fucking believe in my product. Why shouldn't I sell it to you straight to, to your face? Hey buy my fucking course because i believe in it you see what i mean now this youtube video has to be have the ex explicit tag right <laughs> so but you see like like we authentic people we were like like caught in between two worlds on the one world marketers telling us our content should have agenda should always try to sell something and on the other part like we're so afraid of selling i'm like let's drop both of those and be authentic in both. So anyway, <laughs> that's my rant about uh, being authentic in our in our content. Um, does that does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it and, does. And it then does. let's let's get to this other one now. 